On the thoroughfare of Beverly, New Jersey, a Burlington County industrial river town looking for renewal, a structure older than the town itself is taking on a revitalization of its own. Situated on Morin Street, St. Stephen's Episcopal Church served as a navigational landmark on the Delaware River's main transportation corridor. But at over 150 years old, the property was beginning to show its age. As the selected preservation contractor, Wu and Associates focused on restoring the church's beacon feature, the steeple. Following a lightning strike in 1983, the structure burned down two-thirds of the way, and the replacement cedar shakes did not hold up to the environment. With the help of architectural firm Farewell Mills & Gash, the St. Stephen's community navigated through a seven-year-long New Jersey Historic Trust grants process, obtaining awards for a preservation plan, engineering studies, and finally, construction. Um, they're just, I think they're really excited about it. And, you know, not just the congregants and Father Lignani, but I think people in the area are excited about it. Um, Father Lignani was um, very calm <laughs> the entire project, even when, um, you know, different conditions came up that you would normally find during construction. The resetting of the front steps, mm -hmm. which um, prior to construction, they were kind of askew and um, just not set straight. And so they had repaired them over the years and repaired the mortar, you know, repointed them. Um, but Wu took uh, basically the, the treads completely off and repaired the support walls underneath, repaired and built additional support walls underneath. And that was interesting because when they took the treads off, it, it basically looked like a pile of rubble. And it wasn't from the removal of the stair treads, it was because it just had deteriorated over time. During construction, St. Stephen's Bell, dated from 1855, was removed from the tower and restored, while Wu and Associates worked on reinforcing the bell tower and reconfiguring the bell wheel. We're currently ran new rope up to the bell tower. We had to run a pulley system down below to run it down to the basement. Unfortunately, the existing rope, since the platform is too higher than what it used to be, we had to put a whole new rope in. So that's what we're currently doing. Uh, we're making some final adjustments on the A-frame, which is supporting yeah. the bell right now. Because right now, when the bell moves, it's sliding down. Again. There's so much breaks right now. In about 20 minutes, uh, the Reverend can start ringing this bell for the first time in about six months. So that's where we're at. I bring it 40 times at 10 minutes to 8 on Sunday morning in honor of Moses, who had for 40 years to get those sleeping Hebrews out of bed and trucking through the wilderness. Finished just before Christmas 2009, St. Stephen's was recently honored by the Burlington County Freeholders for outstanding accomplishment in preservation for the restoration of the bell tower, steeple, and main entrance of the 1865 building. Wu and associates attended the congregation's celebration of the project's completion in early June, where the Right Reverend George Council made a special appearance to preside over the ceremonies. While the range of stained glass window styles and woodwork within the building are the most elaborate of the church's designs, Wu and associates' work stabilizing the structure and preserving the simplicity of the building's design is important to saving the history of St. Stephen's architectural story and its place in Beverly's. <laughs>